Hey, it's Michael, and I am in Grand Canyon National Park on the South Rim. Uh, I got here, and uh, what is it, uh, the end of February, and uh, didn't know what I was going to do. I was uh, actually planning on taking a hike down into the canyon, and it turns out that the uh, main trail on the South Rim going down there uh, is exceptionally icy, and they recommend some... Uh, some special equipment that I didn't bring with me and I didn't feel like purchasing just for this trip. Uh, but it turns out that they rent bicycles and that there's trails all over the place uh, that uh, that kind of encircle uh, the park here and that actually travel uh, along the edge of the rim of the Grand Canyon. Uh, so I figured I'd rent one of these bikes and they actually have a, a fat tire bike which I've never been on before. And uh, so now I am uh, on a fat tire bike a little bit of snow on the ground, but for the most part, I don't know how the temperature is probably right now about 60, and uh, so it's actually warming up, and uh, it's nice. So anyway, just wanted to talk about uh, today, mending myself. Uh, serendipitously, I found myself on a fat bike. Uh, I'm moving, and I had no idea I was going to be on a bicycle on this uh, on my trip to Las Vegas and to the Grand Canyon, and uh, here I am uh, having a great bike ride. Uh, I'm nourishing myself. I've had uh, I've had some fresh fruit this morning, and I've got some water and more water in my backpack and uh i'll probably have a nice healthy lunch when i leave here uh i've been eating really healthy lately and it seems like the healthier i eat uh the easier it is for me to do that and the more impetus i have towards that line uh or inertia i guess uh, would be another way to put it uh, and actually i was at my mom's house a few days ago and they made some of these uh these big biscuits with butter and everything and i had two of them there and my stomach literally hurt for like two hours after I ate it. So it's almost like I would get sensitive when I eat shit after I haven't eaten shit for a long time. So that's actually good. It's just uh, kind of telling me that, uh, yeah, my body is getting used to uh, eating normal, healthy food and uh, you shouldn't be putting that crap in your body. So, uh, and then decompressing. I can't even imagine a, a more decompressing, uh, healthy type of uh, stress reduction than what I'm doing right now. Uh, so that's basically it. And then uh, educating myself about myself. I'm uh, listening right now to some uh, YouTube uh, as, I, uh, as I ride my bike around here. There's about a four and a half hour drive here and uh, uh, over the Bluetooth of my car, uh, basically just listen to, uh, to audiobooks the entire time. So uh, there you go. So that's about nine hours of car uh, education and then also uh, you know, a few hours on this bicycle. So move, educate, nourish, decompress, and uh, that's kind of what I mean by uh, just serendipitous and just enjoying today, present-minded, present gratitude, and uh, not too much concerned about uh, what happened yesterday or what's going to happen tomorrow. I have a, uh, I have a, a given acknowledgement and observation to the fact that uh, you know that. I did heavy yesterday, and I'm probably going to have it tomorrow, but uh, probably maybe 10% uh, rear rear or past-oriented thinking, and maybe 20% of the future, and then the other 70% is uh, grounded in today, and just uh, enjoying my life right now, and this uh, this situation that I'm in, and trying to uh, to be present. So anyway, just some recommendations, and just wanted to give you uh, just one more uh, idea of what I mean by uh, mend yourself. Thanks. Anyway, that's kind of where we're at right now. Just uh, mega cool. All right, what's up, buddies?